Hi, my name is David Landis. I'm mayor of the Ketchikan Gateway Borough. Ketchikan Gateway Borough is a general purpose borough in the state of Alaska, the southern part of the state, 700 miles north of Seattle. And uh, we are roughly 6,900 square miles, which is the size of Connecticut and Rhode Island combined. So we're a very large uh, municipality in a very large state. There are approximately 14,000 residents in the Ketchikan Gateway Borough, many of them employed in the Coast Guard, the Forest Service, and other federal agencies. These federal employees who live in the borough use all of the borough's services, including schools, transportation, fire and emergency medical services, and more. The places that these federal workers are employed at, the buildings and the property, as well as all of the public lands surrounding Ketchikan in which Many of our visitors have recreational opportunities are exempt from any borough property taxes. The federal government owns over 98% of the land within the Ketchikan Gateway Borough. Other non-taxable entities own another percent and a half. That leaves one half of 1% of the entire borough that is taxable. How can you run a borough on that much taxable land? It's nearly impossible. Ketchikan Gateway Borough, among the 1900 county equivalent municipalities within the United States has the most federal ownership of its, within its borders of, of any of those 1900. The federal government for almost 40 years has provided a way for the borough to be compensated for those federal lands within the borough's borders. That's the payment in lieu of taxes system. It's called PILT. PILT is due to expire on September 30th and that's worrisome for the borough because the U.S. House of Representatives has reauthorized it, but the Senate has not taken a position. So the borough faces now a $1.1 million shortfall, and we are very concerned about that. For many communities, the payment in lieu of taxes system might not be that important. Uh, it might not be high on everyone's radar. However, Ketchikan Gateway Borough relies on these funds. It is very, very important to us. And by and large, we count on these funds. We need these funds. I think people hear that a lot. Alaska is different and therefore we should get something special. But the fact of the matter is, it is different. Living in the Ketchikan Gateway Borough can be difficult. It's very remote. Uh, we have to have everything brought in by a barge or a ferry boat or an airplane. There aren't any highways that lead to the Ketchikan Gateway Borough. Uh, that makes everything more expensive. That makes all of the services that we provide more expensive whether you're talking about education, public works, transportation, uh, any of the services that are provided to the, to the citizens of the community or the visitors. We have to generate our own electricity. We have to, to uh, clean our own water. We have to have all of the, we're not connected to a, a grid of, of sewage system or, or, or anything of that. It's all just contained within uh, our community. Those residents, of course, have a reasonable expectation of having uh, a level of government services that is equivalent to, to anyone else in the state of Alaska or the United States of America. So really what it boils down to is the Ketchikan Gateway Borough is, is a very large municipality within the state of Alaska. We have a very, very small taxable area. The federal government has generously provided for 40 years a way to, to fund that federal land within the Ketchikan Gateway Borough through PILT. Uh, PILT funding is, is threatened uh, by September 30th. It will expire. We're very concerned about that because uh, of this, uh, the magnification of this problem within this particular community, within our community. And uh, if, if something is not done, we'll be severely impacted in all the services that we provide to the residents of the Ketchikan Gateway Borough. We would very much like to have support in reauthorizing PILT funding for 2016.